Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Savannah and today I have a what sold video. I wanted to say a haul because I'm so used to saying that, but this is a what sold video for eBay and Poshmark and this is what sold from January 18th to January 22nd and I had a really good couple of days. Well, I guess it's like four days, four days of sales. It's been, it's been good. I've been really busy shipping stuff up um, and I just wanted to show you guys what's actually selling and what for because I think it's cool that you guys can see me get this stuff in my haul videos and then just kind of see it come full circle and uh, see what I'm actually getting for these items. So most of these items I do get from the Goodwill outlet so my cost of goods is really low. Um, I do go shopping at stores every now and then so there's a couple of those items sprinkled in there as well. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and get into what's sold and then I'll break down all the numbers later. So I'm going to start with eBay sales and all of these eBay sales are going to be um, not including shipping. I don't do free shipping so um, you should be able to see the shipping cost on the little pictures with the items but I just do calculated shipping, buyer paid. Anyways, okay, the first item that sold is a Coach Colette purse that I got from the Goodwill outlet. So I paid just over a dollar for it, and it sold uh, under, like, under a week. It was probably five to six days, um, but it sold for $42.48. So definitely happy with that sale. Some Coach bags still sell well. Um, next thing that sold was a Wooden Ships cardigan sweater, and this is a brand that's sometimes sold at Anthropology, but not all the time. Um, I never list Anthropology in the title, and these always sell. Um, it sold for $18, so it's not like crazy high, but I paid like 50 cents probably for it. It was really light. Um, so $18, and it sold super quick. That brand sells really quick for me. Um, so Wooden Ships. Next thing that sold is the only hard good. It is a drone battery. So for the DJI Mavic drone, I'm not sure. Um, sometimes there will be stuff that's like brand new from Target. Well, obviously like the clothes at the bins, but sometimes they'll bring out hard goods that are brand new um, and we're just like clearanced out or whatever. So this was brand new in the box, still sealed and it sold for $55. So it was a pretty expensive battery, brand new. It was over $100. So I will grab stuff like that because I paid like a dollar and $55. It's a good turnaround. And it was listed for under a month. I listed it right before Christmas. So just about a month to sell. Um, next item that sold was a Lululemon Swiftly tank top. And this did have some flaws, but it still sold for $16.13. Um, the next item is a brand that sells really well for me on eBay and Poshmark. I think I have another item from this brand in this video. Um, but it is Pure Hand Knit, and this was just a scarf, and I actually bought a lot of two of them from Thrifting Wanderluster, or Jen. She has a YouTube channel, and she's so sweet. Um, she does live YouTube sales every now and then. I just happened to catch one, and um, I got these two... Um, scarfs they're like a scarf wrap thing they're really cute and both of them have already sold and I think I paid like three or four dollars to Jen and I sold both of them for uh, the other one sold for about 15 too this one sold for fifteen dollars and ninety three cents um, the next item that sold is a pair of Under Armour capris and they sold for nine bucks pretty basic bread and butter sale uh, the next item was a J Crew sweater and it sold for $15. So even though I have like some expensive sales, like the nine to 15 to $20 sales are what pay my bills. So you'll see that in this video. <laughs> um, the next item that sold was a pair of Poetic License, like little booty heel type things. And they sold for $28.69. Um, next item that sold was a flying tomato like Aztec printed dress and it sold for $15. Um, next was just a really basic blue and gray top. I probably wouldn't buy something like this now. I really only get blue and gray and like really cute pieces or like sweaters like bigger pieces like I don't really get their tops. Um, but it sold for $10, so when I got that offer, I was like, accept, because I kind of don't want 
look at it anymore. That happens sometimes. <laughs> um, the next thing that sold is a brand I have never heard of, but I think it was in my last haul. It was pretty recent, um, but it's called Aviator Nation, and this is a definite bolo. Uh, be on the lookout for this brand because it sold almost instantaneously for $75, which was like $5 below my asking price, so I accepted a best offer, but it was so quick, and it's just a hoodie with a smiley face on it. It was really cute, but... Um, yeah, I guess this brand is like really hyped by celebrities and stuff and it sells really quick. So $75 and it was from the bins. So really good turnaround. Um, next was a Patagonia Cinchilla vest and it sold for $34. Um, the next item I had a little bit of a spell check issue on, but it still sold. <laughs> it sold for $12. It's a guess means romper <laughs> so yep uh spell check i like misspell stuff all the time just like on accident because i'll be typing fast or my lister will misspell something and i won't catch it so i really appreciate when you guys comment and like let me know because it's embarrassing when stuff sells and it's misspelled <laughs> but it happens it's fine um the next item that sold was a banana republic pink blazer jacket and it sold for $17.15. Um, next was a pair of Salvatore Ferragamo little pumps. And I got these pretty recently from the outlet. And they were in excellent condition. They sold for $20. So this brand retails very high. But the resale is not very high. <laughs> but I still grab it if they're in good shape. And especially if I'm at the outlet. Because it'll sell. It's just not. Don't expect to get like. A lot of money for them is what I'm trying to say don't pay up for them um, I know there are certain styles like the newer Ferragamo styles can be a different story but like this style yeah 20 bucks um, next item was a pair of Freebird date boots I just got these at my last Goodwill trip um, my Goodwill outlet trip so I paid probably like two dollars and fifty cents for them and they sold for a best offer of $130. So I was really happy with that. Um, the person has yet to pay though, so fingers crossed. Uh, but they sold, so we'll see. And I do have some people messaging me that are interested in, interested in them um, if the buyer backs out. So we'll see what happens. Um, next thing that sold is a Helly Hansen men's fleece jacket. It sold for $20. Um, next is a pair of Aquatalia booties that I got super recently, so they sold really quick for $32. Another brand that retails very high. Resale isn't super high, but I still grab it because it's a great brand and it sells pretty quick. Um, next is a pair of Chaser sweatpants. Um, so they're known for like their graphic, uh, you know, burnout t-shirts, empty hanger always gets the cutest ones. Um, but I found this pair of sweatpants and they had stars and stuff all over them, which is really trendy right now. So, um, they sold for $40 and I have had them listed for a little bit. So it did take a little bit for them to sell, but 40 bucks, really happy with that. Um, next thing that sold is a J Crew factory pink dress. It sold for $13. Um, Another pair of Under Armour leggings sold for $15. You'll see a lot of J. Crew and Under Armour, like $15 range. Bread and butter, guys. Um, next uh, was a pair of Birkenstocks. And these were in excellent condition, but th some of the adhesive on the side was lifting. So I noticed that after I hauled them. And I obviously noted it in the listing. Um, but they still sold for $30. So I'm happy with that. This next sale was awesome and this is a brand I have never picked up I just got it the last time I was at the Goodwill outlet it felt like amazing quality like it was Italian leather it's called uh, I'll just I'll put the name right here because I am gonna butcher it um, but it was an Italian I believe Italian leather purse um, and it was in gorgeous condition I listed it for about like 130 and somebody offered me 90 and I accepted real quick because it was only listed for a couple days and it was a brand I was super unfamiliar with so I was thrilled to get that offer and that sh I just love getting brands like that that I've never gotten before that just shock me and now I know in the future that I'll get excited about that brand. 
Um, the next thing that sold is a Holding Horses, which is an anthropology brand uh, blouse. It sold for $12. Um, next item was a Smart Wool, which I love that brand so much. It sells so well. And this was just a t-shirt that my friend Caitlin gave to me at the bin. So thank you, Caitlin. It sold really quick for $28. Um, next item was a Patagonia Capilene base layer shirt. And it sold for $20.38. Um, next was a pair of Pure Bar leggings. So... I think I've mentioned this before, but that kind of workout wear, like Pure Bar, Soul Cycle, all that stuff, tends to do really well. Um, people like to wear it to their athletic classes, so those sold for $21. Um, next item was a Sundance cardigan sweater, and it sold for $17. Sundance is one of the brands that I've kind of noticed is kind of trending down for me. It's not selling for as much, but that's just me. I don't know. Comment down below if you've seen the same trend. I'm just trying to like, you know, drop some input, you know, how I feel about these brands as I go through this because I feel like it's important. I'm <laughs> just like, you know, this brand is doing good for me. This one, mm, no, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Sundance is not doing the best for me right now. <laughs> so yeah, 17 bucks and that was listed for a pretty long time. Um, the next thing that sold is a mini Bowden little bird shirt and it sold for $12. Next was a Free People fringe top, another brand that I'm getting very selective with because it sold for $10, which is less than I would like to see for a Free People item, but it was probably, probably from the bins. I don't remember. I've had it listed for a long time. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm more selective with free people pieces now. So, um, next thing that sold was a new with tags Prana swimsuit and it sold for $35. Um, next was a J crew career dress. And this actually sold really quickly for best offer of 14. Um, honestly, when I got it, I was like thinking it might've been a bad buy. So when I got an offer quickly, I just accepted <laughs> cause it was an older label J crew, but it was a career type dress and that stuff tends to do good for me, especially in J Crew. So $14 and it was from the bins, so I'm still happy with that. Um, next thing that sold was a Jamie Sadock half zip like top thing. Um, Jamie Sadock is pretty much just a woman's athletic wear. Uh, she sells a lot of like tennis, golf, um, cute stuff, but it sold for $18. Next thing that sold was an Under Armour long sleeve for $12. Another bread and butter sale. Um, the next thing that sold was the cutest kimono ever. It was from Jodeful or something like that. Some boutique brand, but it had cactuses all over it. And I spelt cactuses wrong in the listing. So if you see that, yes, I saw it too after it sold. Uh, it sold for $12. Um, the next thing that sold was a Mountain Hardware jacket, and it was a super soft, like, poodle type fleece jacket. That's what I always call those. Um, it sold for $20. Next up was a pair of American Eagle kick boot jeans, and my good friend Latisse, or Financially Fit Millennial, uh, gave these to me at the bins, and they sold for a best offer of $14.15. Um, the next pair of shoes that sold, I am super psyched about, was a pair of Allen Edmonds shoes, which, do you ever have an item that sells on eBay and you see what you had it listed at and you're like, how was it listed that high? Like, no wonder it was not selling. Um, these were listed at $184. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know why. But um, somebody offered me $100 and I had that moment where I'm like, oh my God. Did I even have them listed that high? <laughs> well, they sold for $100. He paid. I'm happy. I am a happy girl. But uh, I should probably check my prices on some stuff because I don't know, like, I don't know how it got that high. I don't think I originally priced it that high. Anyways, they sold for $100. <laughs> um, okay, next was an Angel of the North Anthropology Aurora sweater coat. And it sold for $35. That item I did not get from the bins. It was from the Goodwill store near me. It was $4.99. Um, so yeah, it sold for $35.
Next was a pair of Sam Edelman heels. They sold for $13.99. Um, a pair of Tory Burch wedges that were missing an ankle strap. They had seen better days. I probably should not have grabbed them. They sold for $12. <laughs> Um, next up was a pair of Lululemon, really old style, missing draw drawstring, should not have grabbed pants. They sold for $10. <laughs> um, Icelandic Designs cardigan, it sold for $15. It was a pretty basic cardigan though. I usually get more for Icelandic Design, but this one was just like a linen. It didn't have any like crazy designs or buttons or anything like that. But it sold for $15 and it sold relatively quickly. Um, next is a Diane von Furstenberg silk blouse. It sold for $25.48. Alright. Um, next was a pair of DL 1961. Um, they were like cigarette style jeans. I think that's what it said on the tag. They sold for $18, which is a little bit less than I would like to get for that brand, but sometimes when I'm having a good sales weekend, I'm just like, it's fine. I'll take a, I'll take a, some lower offers. It's fine. We'll just add, add to the pile. <laughs> um, next thing that sold was a pair of Tory Burch flats that were pretty flawed. They had like some peeling, um, but they sold pretty quickly for $15 and they were from the bins. So, um, next was a pair of Novara um, I've only picked up this brand once and I probably will not pick it up again. It's just an athletic brand, but they sold for $8 and 30 cents. Just a pair of capris. Um, next thing that sold was a Victoria's Secret pink dress and it sold for $12. Um, next was an Adidas Lakers shirt that I have had forever, <laughs> but you can probably tell by the background. Um, but it sold for $12 and 73 cents. Um, next item also sold for $12 and 73 cents. It is a Nick and Nora little pajama top. So it was just the top, didn't have the matching bottoms, but it still sold. Um, I think that brand is sold at Nordstrom. I'm not sure, but they have really cute pajamas <laughs> and they're really soft. Um, the next thing that sold was an Aviva, which is the kids Lululemon line. Um, it was this really adorable white cutout skirt and it sold for $25 and 48 cents. Um, then the last thing that sold on eBay, let's see if I can pronounce this. It is La Vicunita, probably pronounced that wrong. It is an alpaca sweater and it is a brand I had never heard of until I found two sweaters a couple weeks ago at the outlet. And um, the comps looked really good. This one sold for a best offer of $38, which I am pretty stoked about for a bin sweater find. So yeah, $38. Um, it was just one of those times where I'm like, don't wear gloves, people, because you can feel the quality. I wouldn't have felt the alpaca if it wasn't for uh, these bare hands. So just saying, just saying. Okay. So moving on to the Poshmark sales. So the first thing that sold, and actually the most recent thing that sold, was a pair of Rachel Comey Mars Mules. And these are the cutest shoes ever. I really want a pair for myself. And they sold for $100. So happy. That is my first time finding that brand. I found them at um, the Goodwill outlet. <laughs> Obviously, that's where most of this stuff is from. Um, but yeah, I had never heard of the brand before. I just saw the bottoms and I'm like, these look expensive. And sure enough, $100. Um, so yeah, after posh fees, 80 bucks, super stoked. Um, next thing that sold was a pair of Lululemon gray jogger pants. And these I did buy at a Goodwill retail store just like five days ago. It was super recent and um, they sold for $35. I paid $4.99. Next thing that sold was a Nike USA Paralympic crew neck sweatshirt, and it sold for $17. Um, 
Um, next was one of my personal favorite brands. They have the softest stuff ever. It is called Barefoot Dreams and it was a robe that was missing the little like wrap part of it. So I priced it accordingly. Um, it sold for $35. Next was a pair of men's North Face snow pants and I was so happy these sold because I'm really trying to sell my snow gear because I don't want to keep it for another season. Although it tends to sell year round for me just because I sell internationally. So yeah, but still it takes up a lot of storage space. So I like when snow stuff sells, especially for $59. Um, the next thing that sold was a coach little leather purse. It sold for $30. Um, next was a Vince cashmere sweater that I also just bought the other day retail at the Goodwill. It was $4.99. That's what they priced most of the stuff at my Goodwill. Um, but I sold it for $34 and it sold really quick. Um, Next thing that sold was a pair of Banana Republic Sloan Fit Pants, and these have been selling really well for me on eBay and Poshmark, uh, just very consistent, so it's definitely a style that I'm going to continue picking up of the Banana Republic Pants. Um, these sold for $18, and that's pretty much what I got for the other ones too, around $18 to $20. Um, Next was a Colorado sweatshirt, which was really cute, and I live in Colorado, so I had to get it. I thought someone would like it. Um, it sold for $15. Next was a Lou and Gray um, turtleneck with like dolman sleeves, super soft. Um, it sold for $15. This was my first time finding mother jeans and I found them at the bins. I was really excited and they sold within a week. Um, they were the dropout style and they were kind of like a light off white color. So they sold for $35. Um, next was a Patagonia wool sweater and it sold for $17. Um, the next bundle was this purse that I have had since I started reselling. Like, I think this was one of the first items I ever got. And somehow I still have it, and it was somehow still listed. And thank God I did not get rid of it, because I hate when that happens. It happens to me too, guys. I lose stuff every once in a while. Um, stuff will fall off. It gets donated. I forget to take it off. Stuff happens. Thank God I still have this purse. Um, it's a really nice bag, but it, it took over a year to sell. So it was a new tags alpha purse and then this top that I got fairly recently it was also new with tags it was a sweet wanderer blouse which I think is just like a TJ Maxx like boutique -y brand um, but the bundle sold for $25.60 and yeah I found the purse so it's all good. Um, the next thing that sold was a Madewell linear stitch sweater and it sold for $20. Um, the next item was a bundle from one of my favorite customers, Benita. So if she's watching this, hello. I love her and she has the best style ever. Um, I think she gets stuff for her husband too, but she always just has the best stuff. So she got a bundle of this um, pair of leather Converse that are really nice, an Athleta sweatshirt and a Wallace, which is sold at Madewell really pretty like metallic knit sweater so thank you so much i love every time i see your name pop up in my closet because i know you're just gonna bundle my favorite stuff you got the best style <laughs> um, so the next thing that sold was a sarah lularoe cardigan some hofflinger slip-on mules um, also a lafayette 148 shirt um, a pair of Ava Rebecca Taylor pants and a pure hand knit sweater, a North Face kids jacket, a pair of Ugg Channing boots, and a junk food shirt. Okay, so next thing that sold very, very quickly was an Icelandic design wool coat. And this brand has really shocked me because on Poshmark, um, usually it's like a younger crowd I feel like shopping but I think that is changing 
And I've just noticed Icelandic Design was selling better on eBay in the past, but lately it's been selling better on Poshmark, which is weird. I, they don't even have it as one of their like brands, so I have to type it in, which I always think affects how a brand will sell on Poshmark because it's not like one of their preferred brands or whatever. Um, but it sold really quickly for $40, so list your Icelandic Design on Poshmark because I had a couple Icelandic Design sales on there this week. Um, the next thing that sold was a pair of Newith Tags, dead stock Levi's mom jeans. Um, they were like the perfect fit and the perfect wash and Newith Tags and they sold for $45. Um, the next pair of jeans that sold is a brand I'm not really picking up anymore. It is Joe's Jeans. Um, I'll pick it up if it's like a skinny style, but these curvy boot cut jeans sold for $15, which actually is a pretty good sale but they sat forever. <laughs> so probably won't get it in the future. Um, and then the last item that sold on Poshmark was a Free People Beach striped sweater for $20. Okay, let's get into the numbers, the fun stuff. Um, so for the four days um, of January 18th to the 22nd, on eBay, my gross sales were $1,715.51. Um, and then after I take away the PayPal and eBay fees, I'm left with a net of $1,508.49. Um, so I'm going to leave the site that I use to calculate um, my net profit because um, for the longest time it was so hard for me to see what my fees were on eBay and Poshmark or just to like estimate. Um, so this website has been really helpful for me. It is called finalfeecalc.com and my friend Jimmy showed it to me. It has been a game changer. Um, it just really helps me um, with like item by item or even just with these videos to calculate the fees quickly because it can be difficult when there's that many items. <laughs> so that's the website I used. But yeah, so my net was $1,508.49. I am really happy with that for four days. Um, and then on Poshmark, my gross was $376. And then my net after Poshmark fees, which is 20%. And then I did have a couple of shipping discounts in there as well. I typically do the $1.50 shipping discount if I send out offers to likers. Um, so my net, I was left with $299.30. Okay, so my total net for January 18th to the 22nd um, on eBay and Poshmark, and this is not including my cost of goods, keep that in mind. So you guys know I shop at the bins, it's relatively cheap. Nah. Um, but my net minus any fees was $1,807.79 between eBay and Poshmark. So I am really excited about that. Um, I hope you guys have learned some brands that are selling well for me, that can sell well for you. And I hope you guys are all having a great week of sales and I'm about to record another video for you guys. So get pumped. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> I hope you guys are having a good week. Bye.